Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace, peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are on stanza 3 of Psalm 119 as we have been talking about the Bible, the Word of God. And so today we are at Jamel in the alphabet. And we want to talk from Psalm 119, verse 17 to verse 24. Here is security in the word of God. So we know we can trust the word of God. Amidst persecution, as we'll see from today's lesson, the psalmist felt like he was a stranger in the world in which he lived. But he found comfort in God's word. Why? Because the word of God enlightens. So let us have an anger. Let us be hungry for such enlightenment we know that without christ or without the word we can do absolutely nothing we need his grace for living and grace also for obeying the word of god so let us ask for plenteous grace since our need is also great so the psalmist says to us in verse 17 through verse 24 be good to your servant while i live that i may open your word open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant who are accursed, those who stray from your commands. Remove from me the scorn and contempt for I kept your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight. They are my counselors. So the psalmist says, though rulers sit together, though they slander me, God, I am your servant. I will meditate on your decrees. So yes, there is comfort found in the word of God. When we look at verse 18, the psalmist says, The Lord, is his prayer. Open thou mine eyes, that I may be old wondrous things the wonderful things that are in your law the request that the psalmist have the request that you and i can have today concerning the word as lord take the scale or unveil my eyes remove that which hinders my sight help me to see clearly the wondrous uh, spiritual goodies uh, which are hidden from the casual glance. And that's why we cannot just casually read the Bible. But the scripture says uh, we should diligently search it, uh, seek out uh, the nuggets uh, that are there. But our eyes need to be open to see them. We know that the Bible is a road map. It guides the pilgrims unerringly to one's destination. So it is very good 
when we have our thirst for the scripture. It is great. The psalmist soul, he says, was eaten up with his longing for the word. And he had this hardened, intense longing at all times. As we said before, the Bible guides us. It is our spiritual compass for life's journey. The Bible has the basic instructions that we need. And because it is a compass, it will always point us in the right direction. Why? Because it is reliable. Because its word will never fail. So we can trust the word at all times. We know that there are many who are proud. Many who are, history teaches us that many who are, who are insolent, many who will defy the Lord's commands. But we we'll also see the Bible says, today we see them, tomorrow they are no more. They are brought down by the mighty hand of God. And so sometimes we see, as the psalmist says here, the believers are scorned. The believers are ridiculed by the world. Because the believer just do not run with what they, the things of the world and what the people of the world, the things they do. So evil sometimes will be spoken of the believer. First Peter 4.4 4. But integrity is always rewarded when the believer can trust the word of God and no matter what will live by this word. The believer someday will hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. This well done will more than compensate for the reproach and the content, the contempt that one has to bear from sinners because they trust God, because they put their faith and their confidence in God. They believe in what the word says and do the word obediently. They live by it. Sometimes we find even those in positions of authority who will collaborate in vilifying believers, saying all manner of evil about them. But the believer or such believer can find strength such believers can find solace. Such believers find peace in meditating on the word of God. When we look at the psalmist case, he says, The princes spoke against me. David said, Yes, they were talking arrogantly and maybe ignorantly against me. But God's statutes, his words, were my counselor. The word of God gives me sweet counsel. And yes, they counseled him to bear patiently what was happening to him. And he committed his cause to God. Surely, as believers, we can do the same thing. We can find comfort in the word of God. 
when we are tried, when we are tested, when we are tempted, when we are evilly spoken against. Because we see this in the case of the psalmist. But one thing he did was to commit the situation to God and to find comfort, to find solace in the word of God. And so today, yes, we can do the same as we ask God. Open our eyes to that portion of scripture that brings comfort. Open our eyes to that portion of uh, scripture that will bring us relief for the situation in which we are in. And remember, we should always have a longing for the word of God to read it, uh, to study it, to meditate upon it, to pass it on, but also to believe it and obey it. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please comment, also subscribe and share. And don't forget to continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady